interviewing for a product design role always involves speaking about your past experiences. You may need to present your portfolio or simply talk about your past projects. One of the most common questions is, tell us about your favorite project. Today, I would like to share some guidelines and common mistakes so that you can prepare in advance and set yourself up for success during the meeting. Let's start with how to answer this question. In general, you should follow the same rules as you would for presenting a project in your portfolio. The only difference is that here you need to be more concise, meaning that you should pay attention to the details that you're sharing and really focus on synthesizing. Step zero is to choose the right project. Let's take a look at what criteria you should pay attention to. First, the project needs to be familiar. I recommend choosing a project from your portfolio since you already have the narration and all the information systemized. Now you can focus on details and presentation. There is also less room for error because you already told this story before. The second criteria is that this project is successful and impactful. The best projects to talk about are the ones that have moved the needle. It can be a positive impact on the company goal, it can be resolving the problem of a customer or introducing an innovation. And the third criteria is that it follows the right process. Talking about a past project is a great opportunity to show your design process. Make sure that the project that you've chosen includes phases like exploration, research, proper design phase, and testing with users. Step one, provide the context. Describe the whole product and the company shortly. Talk about the origins of the project, the problem to solve, and why it was important to find a solution at that time. Mention the project goals and how they aligned with the high-level company goals. At the end, explain why it is your favorite project. Step two, who worked on this project and what was your role? Introduce your team. Talk about the roles and the number of people engaged. Mention who led this project and how you helped them. Describe in detail what was your role in the project and what were your areas of responsibility. Did this project include cross-functional or cross-team collaboration? If yes, explain shortly what it looked like and which teams were engaged. Step 3. From planning to execution. How did your team plan this project? What were the milestones and challenges you needed to overcome? Did you need to get the buy-in from the stakeholders? If yes, how did you do it? Did the execution of the project run smoothly and were there any issues you needed to resolve? If yes, describe them and talk about how your team approached them and what your contribution was. Step 4. The results. Was this project successful and what criteria did you establish? How did you measure the success? What were the KPIs or metrics you chose? What impact this project had on company goals? Now that we've learned how to answer this question systematically, I would like to share some mistakes to avoid. Favorite for the wrong reasons. The reasoning behind choosing a particular project should be about the business impact, an interesting problem that you've managed to solve, or a learning opportunity for your team. Avoid discussing the personal reasons, like working with a favorite coworker or acquiring the skill set that you selfishly wanted to learn. This is your opportunity to show your strategic approach to design. Not giving credit. When talking about your team and their contributions to the project, you need to be able to recognize their work and appreciate it. Be fair when you're talking about your work versus the work that the others did. If you need to talk about something negative, avoid pointing fingers and focus on the resolution and on the lessons learned. Idealizing the process. I always say that the process needs to be correct, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It is a common misconception among many designers that the projects that are worth talking about are the ones that have the perfect design process. And sometimes, in consequence, they choose to skew the reality and idealize the process. And this is the opposite of what recruiters are looking for. They want to listen about your decisions and the trade-offs that you needed to make, and sometimes even about the steps that you needed to remove for the process for the sake of time. Skipping the learnings. Usually, talking about the lessons learned comes naturally to us when we're discussing the failures, but we tend to forget about this detail when talking about the successful projects. And it's a mistake. Every project has some obstacles that we needed to overcome, a pivotal moment, or the new processes that we introduced. Let's talk about those details. It shows your maturity as a designer and as a team member. It's important to include the root cause of the problem and how you managed to prevent it from happening in the future. Now it's time to put what we've learned into practice. Today's challenge is to prepare your answer for the interview question, tell us about your favorite project. Follow the guidelines I've discussed today and don't forget to share your work with others in the comments. 
Thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe to my channel for more product design related content or join my course Product Designer's Guide to Getting Hired and prepare for the interview process with me.